Let me tell you how powerful this approach is. Um, it has been used in uh, all sorts of situations. It was used in the arms negotiations in Reykjavik back in the 80s. Uh, it's, it, it, one of the early vettings of this technique was they, they had a number of light bulbs that had different brightnesses and they had people you know, standing a distance away from the light bulbs and they said, okay, so how, you know, how bright are these relatively? And in the AHP, you'll see you do a binary comparison. So you take two items and compare them to each other. And so you do it two by two till every possible pairing has been compared. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. When they, went, when they ran that, they, they, they came up with the relative brightness of the light bulbs. Then they compared it to, because this is something that's measurable, they had, uh, you know, sensor. They, they measured it and it came out to within a, a few hundredths of a percent of the same. So it's an amazing technique. I mean, I like to say it's almost magical to take fallible, loose human judgment to be able to turn into something that's objectively right is, is a very, very powerful technique. And you can use this to re resolve preference arguments because, again, the technique is reliable. Okay, this is, uh, this is the, the stakeholders that I showed in the previous chart. I've listed them across the top, and then for brevity, I just I lettered them and listed them across the bottom. So for the moment, ignore the, uh, the green-looking cells and the blue-looking cells, and just look at the white cells. What each of these cells represents is the comparison of two items, the item on the row and the right item on the column. Now, the, the comparison is which is greater. A value of one says they're equally uh, more important, or equally important to each other. Uh, three is one is weakly more important, five strongly, seven very strongly, and nine absolutely more important. Now, the order, if you see a number that is a, an integer, that means that the row item is more important than the column item. If you see one over the integer, that means the column item is more important than the row item. The math is not really important. What this is is, is a uh, approximation of an eigenvector to calculate the total importance of these items, relative importance of, the, uh, of these items. The ones are where the item is comparing it to itself, which obviously they're equally important. The blue area is, um, <clears throat> you see the same binary comparison twice in the table. One with the, uh, you know, one item in the row and the other in the column. The other, you know, the other one is with the other item in the row and the first item in the column. So the blue items are just simply the, the inverses of the corresponding cells in the, in the white area. So if you see a three in the white area, you'll see a one-third in the other area. Very quickly, you can find the, uh, how to do this uh, on the internet, plenty, plenty of descriptions. But quickly, you sum the rows, uh, you divide every uh, cell in the row by the sum to normalize the rows. <clears throat> Excuse me, I said that wrong. You sum the columns, sorry. Uh, and then you divide every cell by the column sum. So you normalize all the values in the columns. Then you sum across the rows, and you end up with a new column that has the sums of the rows. And you sum that, that column, and then you divide every value in that column by that sum. So you normalize that final uh, sum of rows column. So I know this is too quick to really teach you, but I'm, I'm just trying to give you the flavor of, of how this works. And so once you've done that, then the values that are in that extra column out on the right are the actual weights of each of those items that are on the rows. Okay, so once you have prioritized the stakeholders, then you ask them what do they care about? Now this step is the, uh, is the least formal step in the process. You actually go out and you just interview people and say, what do you care about? You know, what, what matters to you in the, uh, you know, what, what says to you that this project is successful? The CEO might say that I get quick profits from it. That would be a kind of a expected sort of a value. You go to each person's, you take your list, you come back, 
And then you try to create one list out of that. Many times you will find that different stakeholders said the, the same thing in different ways. So you combine those and come up with one list. Then you go back to each stakeholder with that list and, um, and then go through the same AHP sort of a thing. So you, take, you have each stakeholder look at each pair of items in the list of, of values and say which is more important and by how much. You run the AHP and then what you have is stakeholder by stakeholder you have the importance of each of the items in the list. So for instance here, I've got a, an example. Let's say you have a stakeholder that's a CEO. When you ran the AHP on the stakeholders you discovered that the CEO is, determines you know, 0.5 or 50 percent of the success of the project. Three values came up, quick profit, user friendliness, uh, quick to market. Um, can be also technical type values as well. But uh, so the, the CEO, when, when you ranked it with the CEO, the CEO said, well, the work with the CEO said that the profit was worth 25%. Friendliness was 0.7 and speed to market was 0.05. These, these numbers are not intended to be real. It's just to kind of show you how you construct the, the decision. Uh, J Corp, maybe that's a distributor. The public, maybe that's the purchaser. Uh, various values. Okay. Now, we want to come up with uh, a, the weights for each of the values, stakeholders aside. Just how important are each of those values to the success of the project? That equation is really simpler than it looks. What it really says is you take the weight of the stakeholder times the weight that they put on the value plus the weight of the next stakeholder times the weight that they put on the value times the weight of the next stakeholder, stakeholder times the weight that they put on the value and sum all of those. And that gives you the uh, weighted sum of the weight of the value. You do that for all of those and now you know just like you have a weighted list of stakeholders you now have a weighted list of values. When we did that on that project I was talking about and when we collected the values into categories it was absolutely fascinating. What we came up with, these are fairly common uh, categories of priorities on projects customer satisfaction, um, system safety, reliability, quality, kind of lump those together, project management effectiveness, and system technical performance. Now if you just sit down and talk to a technical person, oftentimes what they'll tell you is that the technical performance of the, of the system is the most important thing. Second most important is, well, we've got to have a good umbrella of project management or else we can't succeed, so that's second most important. Well, we do want quality in the product, so let's, let's put some emphasis on that. And then customer satisfaction really never comes into, in, into uh, the picture because, well, we don't have any contact with the customer, we don't understand, we, we, but we do have requirements. We'll develop to our requirements. When we ran this, and this was with the technical people up through the management on the project, same sort of people that might tell you that they really believe this, Here's what the objective process showed. The exact opposite. What they really believed was that customer satisfaction was number one. It's exactly what lean production tells you. But people, if you, if you just come and say, is, is, that, is that number one? They'll say no. But when you did all of the math and the binary comparisons, everything else, it, what that does is that ferrets out what people really think. It gets past the head to the heart. Strange thing, using math to get past the head to the heart, but it actually works. 